welcome to another episode of Let's Get Stoned. Today we are going to be working with some carnelian. Um, as you can see, it is a very orange stone and it is slightly translucent. Um, this piece right here I have is actually a little bit darker, just to give you an example of how different they can be, um, but as you can see, it is pretty translucent compared to um, the orange calcite that we talked about last time. Um, this is more like opaque, and where it is, you can see how this. If I were to put light behind it, you could um, you can kind of see through it a little bit. Um, so I am familiar with. Uh, carnelian, um, but I haven't actually taken the time to sit and meditate with it, so I'm really excited to do that today. Um, it is, if you have ever bought a chakra crystal set, carnelian was probably the one that was included. It's, uh, it's pretty common to be included for the sacral chakra, uh, crystal, um, so if you've gotten one of those sets that has like seven, seven different stones in it, one for each chakra, you probably have a piece of carnelian, or if you are just starting out with crystals, um, it's pretty easy to find one of those chakra sets, and um, it's just a really great way to start working with crystals. It's because it comes with seven stones, it's pretty, it's fairly inexpensive. So um, instead of repeating myself a bunch of times, because I kind of do know what carnelian is good for. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and sit in meditation with it to see what comes up. Um, so let me set my timer for 10 minutes and I will see you on the other side. Let's get stoned.
So definitely very different energy from uh, the orchid calcite, even though they are both sacral chakra stones. Very different energy, um, and if you haven't seen uh, the orchid calcite video, um, go uh, watch that afterwards, especially if you are interested in sacral chakra work or feel like you need healing there. Um, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> Carnelian. Okay. Okay, so um, it, it's a, it has like a very uh, stimulating uh, energy. Uh, like it was kind of almost difficult to sit in meditation with it, which is similar to the orchid calcite stimulating. Um, like I just kept, I'm working on a lot of creative products, projects right now, so I just kept like seeing them like in flashes, um, some of them like seeing them completed, and uh, just, I'm working on a lot of different things, so it was just like all these things like floating around like that I'm working on, so um, like it, I guess like it, like having like an inspiring feeling, like oh I can't wait to work on these. Um, creative inspiration. Um, so because that was kind of like distracting and kind of too energetic, I went try went back to like trying to do a visual visualization that I've talked about in other videos before where I imagine that I am like walking around inside of the stone. Uh, so, um, bringing that vis visual visualization in, I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that, it kind of brought me back into the meditation a little more, it wasn't as distracting, uh, visualization inside the stone, so that felt like, um, very like watery creative energy but also more like a lava like it like just this like liquid fire um like flowing underneath where i was standing and then like all the walls were like this just bright orange liquid water or liquid fire Um, and so I've been working with the goddess, uh, Sekhmet, uh, the Egyptian goddess Sekhmet, who's the, has a lion face, um, started working with her on the summer solstice, um, because I've just been feeling really called to her. So she came up in the meditation too, and was just kind of like standing in front of me, and it felt very like empowering. Um... But again, that could be because like I'm already um, trying to make a connection with her. And I'm trying to think of, um, because I associate with her with the sun and that's why I started working with her on the summer solstice. I'm trying to think if I, I, I think I've been mostly doing like solar plexus work with her um, so that's interesting that she comes up for sacral as well, and um, yeah, like I think of sunstone or citrine for working with her, but I will double check in the research to see if, we'll put a star next to that to see if she is related to carnelian or sacral energy in general. So yeah, definitely a very energetic, empowering um, 
fire energy, but in a very fluid, watery sort of way. And the sacral chakra is associated with, I don't know why I'm having trouble saying S's right now. <laughs> the sacral chakra energy or sacral chakra element is related to water, I believe. Because the root is earth and sacral is, um, oh, maybe it is related to fire. I don't know. I'll have to revisit that. Is it fire or water? But either way, this felt like fiery water energy to me. Um, hopefully that note will make sense. Fire, water, sacral, question mark. <laughs> um, all right, so I will go and do some deeper research and we will come back later and talk more about um, about carnelian. Okay, we are back with um, the research from uh, carnelian. And um, I mean, uh, the uh, so a lot of the information I got um, is from sagegoddess.com. Uh, I take uh, crystal classes with her and you can obviously purchase crystals from there, but the, I use her website as a research, um, um, a place to get research on crystals, um, as well as numerology, astrology, and all that kind of stuff. Um, cause a lot of times, a lot of the stones that I work with, um, don't have a lot of information in books. However, carnelian, because it's such a common popular stone, um, some of this research is from the Crystal Bible by Judy Hall. And, um, but what Sage Goddess was saying is that it's like caffeine in stone form. And I, I 100% agree. I felt like vitalized and energized after meditating with it. Um, but what Judy Hall says, um, and I'm just bringing it up because everyone feels differently about things and one of the first things she says about carnelian is that it grounds and anchors you in the present reality. It's a stabilizing stone with high energy. It is excellent for restoring vitality and motivation and for stimulating creativity. While I like, agree with the vitality and motivation and stimulating creativity, I didn't, I don't really feel much of a grounding and anchoring aspect to it, but everybody feels differently about things. So, um, I mean, I just want to put that out there that, and that's the whole reason why I like doing these videos is to encourage you to see how you feel about stones and not just take other people's words for it. Um, so I just want to throw that out there. I do not personally feel a grounding and stapling. I feel a very like fluid and watery aspect to it. Um, but uh, according to Judy Hall, it does have a grounding and stabilizing effect. Um, she also says that psycholo psychologically carnelian imparts an acceptance of the cycle of life and removes fear of death. In ancient times, it was used to protect the dead on their journey into the afterlife. It gives courage, promotes positive life choices, dispels apathy, and motivates for success in business and, and other matters. Carnelian is useful for overcoming abuse of any kind. The stone helps you to trust yourself and your perceptions. It gets to the bottom of what makes you tick, overcomes negative conditioning, and encourages uh, steadfastness. On a healing level, it stimulates metabolism, activates the base chakra, and influences the female reproductive organs. And um, I just wanted to point that out because in the meditation, I was um, kind of feeling like more of a sacral uh, chakra, but um, according to Judy Hall, it is a root chakra, or she, what she calls is the base chakra. Um, it influences the female reproductive organs and increases fertility. This stone overcomes frigidity and impotence, 
It heals lower back problems, rheumatism, arthritis, neuralgia, and depression, especially in those advanced years. It regulates bodily fluids and the kidneys, accelerates healing in the bones and ligaments, and stanches blood. I definitely, in meditation, I felt a very blood-related connection. Um, and it says carnelian improves the absorption of vitamins and minerals and ensures a good supply of blood to the organs and tissues. Um, so I did feel like a blood related connection. Just a disclaimer, don't use stones in substitution for medical treatment. Always go to a doctor if you are having any health issues. Um, and I am not a doctor. This is just uh, my advice. This is Judy's. Uh, interpretation of the stone and um, I'm just simply telling you how I feel about carnelian. Um, so um, life uh, so the life force and vitality are definitely like the key main things. It does feel like very energizing like caffeine does but in a very uplifting way. Um, it is a stone associated with the sun sign or the sign of Leo, uh, which is associated with the sun and also Sekhmet. So um, that kind of was a little confirming for um, how I had Sekhmet come up in the meditation. Um, and then it's also going to help with courage, creativity, optimism, empowerment. Uh, and this, this was something that I really enjoyed uh, finding out. It says, it reminds you that you are divinely alive. Um, because it, like vitality can mean kind of different things. Energetic could mean different things. But um, divinely al feeling divinely alive was like a pretty accurate description of the like energy that it feels. Like it's like life force energy that you feel when you're working with uh, carnelian. So it encourages you to manifest your goals and dreams, and it also helps you move past fear um, and motivates you uh, to keep going. So that's a pretty important um, thing because a lot of us, most people do have sacral chakra blockages. Um, so if this is a stone that's going to help you like move past those blockages so that you're able to access your creativity, it's it's just a very important stone or uh, a very important attribute, uh, a very important, um, what am I trying to say, a very important characteristic for this stone or quality for this stone to have uh, because so many of us have blocked creativity or blocked sexual energy or like, um, we don't have a very healthy, in, at least in the United States, in my experience of growing up in America, um, in the South, in the Bible Belt, we don't have a very positive view on sexuality or creativity. I mean, sexuality is a big one, but um, I mean, art is not supported in the schools as much as it should be, music and art, and that is all sacral chakra creative energy. Um, I mean, I guess because of the sexual aspect of creativity is why it's so, like, taboo to talk about, but, um, it's a very important thing for life, for me, especially being a creative person, and I do have the belief that we are all creative and need to unlock that creativity in order to move our planet to the next level and being a planet of love and kindness, I feel like creativity is a really big part that will get us there. Um, so carnelian is an amazing stone to be working with. Uh, again, I will come back um, with all of these sacral chakra stones and will probably work my way through all of the chakras um, at some point in time too. So um, if you are interested in these videos, please let me know that you like it and uh, don't hesitate to, to subscribe. Because I'm pretty sporadic with putting up videos, it's nice to have that notification so that you know when it's coming up. Um, 
So thank you so much for your support and I hope to see you. Thank you so much for watching. I just wanted to remind you that the Just a Phase Moon Planner is still available and it helps you keep track of the moon cycles and helps you plan for your most magical life. Um, it is from June through December and I've got lots of new and exciting things planned for 2022. So get started this year so that you are ready to kick off 2022 with the moon and with the seasons. Um, you can find all of this information on my website, priestessofwonderland.com. I will leave links in the description box for everything, but I just wanted to remind you that the beeswax candles are still available. It will always be available because I enjoy making them so much. They're available in all sizes, including these little tiny ones and larger jar candles on occasion when supplies are available. Um, I have lots of cute little fun things, handmade jewelry, and you can also uh, purchase a personal private tarot reading with me. Um, but the, all of that can be found on PriestessOfWonderland.com. You can also find me on social media at the Lazy Herbalist on Instagram, Just a Phase Planner on Instagram. I'm also on Facebook. And um, the number one way to support small businesses, go to all of your favorite small business shops and like everything that they have posted. It is the number one way. It is the freest way to support a small business um, to keep all of the information that you like on the top and to weed out all the stuff that you don't like scrolling through. Um, so please, please, please like and subscribe on this channel. Um, follow me on Instagram. Check me out on Facebook. If you're in the Triangle area in Raleigh, North Carolina, I am starting to open up new clients, which I haven't done this entire year because it's been a, it's been a crazy year, right? Um, if you would like to enjoy massage therapy, energy healing, Reiki, um, crystal healing, and all different types of body work rolled into one wonderful relaxing experience in your own home, check out Wonderland Mobile Massage. You can find all that information on priestessofwonderland.com. Contact me directly because I am not accepting that many people. So please reach out if you feel called to any of the work that you have seen on this video to crystal healing, to energy work, or if you just want to help me keep my business afloat in a pandemic, uh, I would really appreciate it. So reach out to me. I try to get back to people as soon as possible. Um, but really, the most important thing is share the love. Share the love. It's the best way to support small businesses. Go to every small business Instagram account that you know of and like everything that you see on their page. Just like it all. It helps us get to the top. It helps um, small businesses like me stay afloat. And I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time.